Hi guys, so this is my drugstore dupes for high-end brushes, face brushes and eye brushes. So I'm gonna jump right in. So the first dupe I have is the Morphe M536. This is a complete dupe for um, the Sigma F79. So these are like literally the exact same. Uh, this one is about, I think it's about maybe $10. This one's about $22. I really don't see a difference between the two whatsoever. So this is the Morphe. I have like a few of these. And this is like an under eye concealer brush or a foundation brush or really anything you want because it's just like a synthetic bristled brush. And this is the Sigma version. So pretty much same cut. Uh, I really, sometimes I can't tell the difference between the two. So instead of getting the Sigma, I recommend purchasing the Morphe M, uh, M536 and avoiding the Sigma F79 because it's just way more expensive. And the thing with these brushes is that you have to wash them pretty much every time you use them. So they're going to go bad pretty quickly. I've actually thrown away a few of these because even though I wash them almost every use, like mold can get in there. Cause, I mean, you're using cream products. So um, I really just prefer to get a cheaper version of brushes like this because it's foundation and you're using cream products. So yeah, M536 instead of the Sigma, same exact brush. Next, we have two powder brushes that are just as good as my high end powder brushes. So this is the e.l.f. I mean, one wild powder brush. So this has lasted me um, years. It's so soft. It's just as soft as like my Sonia G brushes. Um, what's the dupe for this? <laughs> I don't know. I had the Tom Ford brush, but I sold it because um, this is just as good and it's a lot cheaper. Um, it doesn't get stained. And yeah, this is a total dupe for the Tom Ford brush, but I sold that one. And another dupe for uh, the Tom Ford bronzer brush, AKA powder brush, um, is the Equate powder brush. So this is super soft as well. Um, this is sold at Walmart. This is their Walmart brand. And yeah, just like really good. I just feel like these are just as good as high-end brushes. Um, yeah, they're a little dirty because I use them a lot. Um, they're really soft. They blend out powder. You can put powder on. They also blend really well. So yeah, save your money, get the Equate brush or get the Wet n Wild brush. And yeah, they're just as good as Tom Ford bronzer brush or um, I don't, I haven't bought any expensive powder brushes because these really are really, really good. I mean, this is, they're both synthetic bristles. So yeah, they're not going to be real animal hair, but I feel like for powder, you don't really need real animal hair at all, especially for buffing. I just feel like that's unnecessary. So yeah. So a total dupe for the MAC uh, stipple brush. So I don't even know if they make this anymore, but I'm pretty sure that, I mean, this is about, I want to say $25. I'll list the prices in the description box. So this is the MAC stipple brush. Um, it's a classic stipple brush. You can use it for many things. I mean, this, this one has held up for years. Uh, MAC brushes can be in the $20 to $30 range, even more. Um, a total dupe for that is the MOTD. Oh, this is actually the Fair brushes. This is the Fair brushes. Um, and uh, you can purchase this from Ipsy or you can purchase this from their website directly. It's a lot cheaper, same exact consistency, um, bristles, and yeah, the way that it's designed is really good for cream products. I actually lean towards this brush more than I lean towards my MAC version. So yeah, I'm gonna put the exact name of the brushes down below, so look, like the prices and everything. So you can just go ahead and, you know, purchase the brushes you want. And I don't have the prices off the top of my head. Some of these I've had for years and years, so yeah. Um, this is a very good brush as well. I use it more actually because I find that I like the, the handle of it. It's more easy to maneuver. So yeah, uh, total dupe for the Max Stipple brush is the Farrah brush, which I believe is like seven to $10. Next, a dupe for the uh, Sonia G Worker Fan, which I do absolutely love. Um, this is a very expensive brush, very, very soft. Uh, I think it's sold out right now, but honestly, the ColourPop fan brush is really, really good and it does very similar to the Worker fan. Um, the shape is the same. Uh, it's a little bit fluffier, but I have to say that it really creates a great contour. It blends really, really well. Very impressed with this brush. I've washed it multiple times, no shedding. 
Uh, this brush actually seems to be, as you can see, washing the same soap and everything. It is actually fraying a little bit. So this is natural animal hair and this is synthetic hair, but um, I will say that I just find that this brush is very, I mean, I think it's shedding a little bit. The hairs are out of, out of place. Yeah, it just shed like literally. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to save money, this is literally the same effect on the face, the ColourPop uh, fan brush. And this brush is, I mean, it is animal hair, but as you can see, it is fraying. And I take care of my brushes really, really well. So um, I use very, I use the brush cleaner, Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. So um, yeah, it's just, I feel like it's fraying and it's also not as good a shape as it originally was while this has has held its shape and it on the face, I can't tell the difference. So yeah, go get yourself the ColourPop worker fan. Here's another Morphe M536. I have like five or six of these. Next is a dupe for the Huda Beauty uh, face brush, which is basically just a foundation brush and a dupe for the Sigma F80. Yeah, black kabuki. So this is like a standard foundation brush. If I'm not using a beauty blender or a type of blender um, sponge, I gravitate towards these because they don't um, create any lines on the face and they're easy to wash and they just are really easy to maneuver. So yeah, this is F80 Sigma, you know, up in the $20 range or more. A great dupe for that is the Morphe M439. So yeah, this is way cheaper. I, same effect on the face. Um, yeah, just like really easy to use. And I've gone through at least like six or seven of these. And the thing with foundation brushes is you can't use it more than once or twice, and then you have to wash it consistently. Um, hard to get all the foundation out. So I'd rather get a cheap version than have to spend, you know, but this one is about, I think $30. And I feel like I have to wash it every single time. And it's the effect on the face is the same. So get yourself the Morphe M439 and just get like a few of these and you'll be set with foundation. Uh, now we're going to maneuver into eye brushes. So a total dupe for the Sigma F, oh my God, what's it called? E40. I don't even have this sold, but I just remember off the top of my head, the Sigma E40. This is a classic blender brush. It's usually the first step in my process is the um, MOTD Flawless Finish Blend. So this is the same cut. Uh, this is also the same, as you can see, it's almost identical. This one is way cheaper. Yeah, you can get this on their website or off Ipsy, same exact blend on the eye. But yeah, I don't even think, the thing with MAC is I feel like a lot of their brushes have changed. Um, and also I have noticed that I have a few of these, the E40 from Sigma, and they're not all consistent. There have been times where I have purchased them and they were more loose or more tight. So actually I, I think I threw away one because it was like really the bristles were like coming apart and when I purchased it. So disappointed, but this brush is just as good and it's way cheaper. I think this is $20 or more. This one is about 10, so half the price. Yeah, so definitely recommend the MOTD brushes. I think you can get these at Walmart and definitely on their website. So a dupe for the Sonia G Worker Fan. I mean, sorry, the Worker Pro, not the Worker Fan. So this is good for building eyeshadow into the crease, building up color. A dupe is the Lunar Beauty LBE5. So that's the name of this. So this also builds up color really well. Same exact shape way cheaper, way more accessible. I mean, it's a little bit shorter, but honestly, the effects on the eye are the same. Yeah, so very, very similar effect on the eye. This one is half the price. This one is, you know, Sonia G. So I will tell you that th the effect on the eye is the same. So yeah, LBE5 versus the, um, I keep calling it a worker fan, the worker pro. So this is for building eyeshadow on the eye, if you don't know. So this is not this is not a brush really, but um, this is actually a tool. This is the Ulta Beauty pencil sharpener. So this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Grindhouse pencil sharpener and the NARS pencil sharpener. Actually, think it's better. So I just want to throw this out there that this is a total dupe. 
Um, it's sold with Ulta Beauty, obviously, and it's way cheaper. You can get deals on it. It's on sale all the time. So yeah, instead of spending 10 to $15 on a sharpener, go get you this one. I have so many and they were just on sale too. So go ahead and buy this. Also, I like how that opens so you can keep it clean and not get things all over the place. And also there are two sizes here. So large and small and also they're very durable, travel friendly, and I don't see any pro of getting the Dars or Urban Decay one, even though those are really good. But um, yeah, definitely recommend purchasing. This is the best pencil sharpener on the market that I've tried. Another brush that's actually still available, but they changed it from natural hair to synthetic is the MAC 217. So this is really, really old and it's really good for putting colors in the crease and kind of blending like a middle shade. Um, a good dupe for that is the Zoeva um, Lux Soft Definer 227. So yeah, they're cut pretty similar. Um, they both wash really well. They both have similar bristles. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit cheaper and also it's more accessible. Um, at Ulta, this one is no longer sold. I haven't tried the synthetic one, but it's probably not as good as um, the natural hair one. So I recommend the Zoeva. Really, really good blender brush. I also find it less scratchy than the MAC 217. So yeah, this one is great. Similar shape, really good for the middle eyeshadow color. So yeah, definitely recommend getting this. I think this is cheaper as well. And yeah, do you see they're almost identical and this is no longer sold in the natural hair version. So might as well get the Zoeva one and it's also softer in my opinion. So a dupe for the MAC, um, this is the MAC 219 pencil brush. So I believe they changed this into synthetic as well. I do like this more than the Sigma one. I don't like the Sigma one at all. It's too, um, it pricks my eyes and it hurts. So I actually got rid of that one. The MAC one is my second favorite after the Sonya G, which I don't have a dupe for because that one is amazing. But yeah, this is the MAC 219. A dupe for that is the Zoeva 230 Lux pencil. Exact same cut, exact same feeling. I find the Zoeva one is actually a little bit softer. This is sold at Ulta or directly off the Zoeva website. I think Ipsy has a coupon code as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to save a little bit of money, definitely recommend the Zoeva 230 pencil brush. Same cut, same feeling, a little bit softer actually. So 230. I have another dupes video coming soon, but if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I hope that you guys have a good day or night, whatever time it is there for you. So please leave a like and love you guys for watching. Thank you, bye.